everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin, welcome! And today I'm in a ranking mood. I've just filmed my blush ranking which went live a few weeks ago, maybe a week ago, who knows. And today I thought I would rank my Pan Those Eyeshadow shades from 2022. So I got this idea from Chaotic Neutral and Dog, I think her name is. Um, I can't remember her actual name, but she's amazing. She is just come back to YouTube as I'm filming this. I'm so excited to watch all of her Pan That Palette series. So if you haven't seen her and you don't know who she is, I will link her in the description below. She's a really fun project panner and yeah, I think she deserves some love because she's had a rough year. I love this idea. I think it's so fun. So all year I have been writing down my Pan Those Eyeshadow shades and I've been kind of, you know, putting them into lists, ones that I really didn't like working on, ones that were okay and ones that I really loved. And today I have ranked them all in order and that is what we're going to do today. But just before we jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I'm doing Vlogmas this year, which means I am uploading every single day in December. It's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. And yeah, I have a lot more really fun videos coming for this month. So if that interests you, stick around, subscribe. Okay, so I am gonna jump into this. The first one, I should say, I have 19 shades that I'm gonna talk about today. So number 19 comes from my Sunset Horizons palette. Now I did declutter this palette in my eyeshadow palette declutter. If you didn't see that video, I will link it in the cards above, but uh, this hasn't been claimed by any of my friends yet. So it's just kind of chilling um, out of my collection, just gathering some dust. And the shade that I want to talk about is Dusk, which is this pastel pink. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the pan because it is such a light eyeshadow. I'm not a pink person, really. I don't really like pink eyeshadows. This is what it looks like. It's too pastel to be a blush because I wanted to use it as a blush for quite a while. Um, it's too pastel for that. I can't use it as a blush, so I had to use it as an eyeshadow. Luckily for me, it is very, very, very lightly pressed, so I think it only took me about six or seven uses, but um, I don't like pink. I really don't like pink, and yeah, this was definitely my least favourite shade to work on in my Pan Those Eyeshadow series this year. Did not like it. Next, this is not going to look very loved. This is just a theory from JSTAR. I don't support JSTAR anymore, I should say. When this was in my project, it was still in its square pan, but since then I have actually repressed it into a circle pan, so it's not going to look used, but we didn't hit pan in it anyway. We rolled it out after 20 uses. This I didn't like much at all. It was, like, there's nothing wrong with the shade. It was just really, really generic. <laughs> It was such a generic shade and I wasn't really working on any neutrals at the time, so I couldn't really pair it with anything. It was just lackluster and I remember how, like when I reached 20 uses on this, I was so excited, I was so happy to roll this out. Uh, and I haven't reached for it since it rolled out of the project, to be honest. So yeah, I just really struggled with this. It was just a bleh kind of shade. I did not enjoy working on that. Next is, again, the Sunset Horizons palette. Can you tell why I decluttered this? Um, this is the shade Hibiscus. You can definitely see the pan in this. This is like a Barney purple. This is what it looks like. It is so out there and in your face. And I tried to pair it with some blues. Like, I love blues and greens. They're like my kind of colours. I tried to pair it with a few blues, but it just didn't look right. It was way too bright. It was like, it, ugh, it, you can't really be subtle with this shade. But I did end up hitting pan in it, as you can see. This is, as you can probably see, quite a kind of precise pan. So I did use this as like a starting shade for like kind of pinky purpley looks. I just gritted my teeth and bared it. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't, I was not a fan of that. Uh, again, this was very, 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 very lightly pressed. So it didn't take me that long to hit pan on it, thank God, because I did not enjoy that. 
this is the shade Rose Quartz. And as you can see, we have Hit Pan on this. This is very, very similar to Just a Theory. Very similar, actually. But it is, it's more shimmery and it's slightly more pink leaning. Now, the reason that this is above Just a Theory is because I was actually working on a mauve shade, which we will talk about later in my Pan Those Eyeshadows in the same rotation. And I found that this really worked with that. So I was able to actually use it with another shadow that I was working on instead of making a whole new look around it. And as you can see, we managed to hit pan, which is amazing. I'm very, very happy with that. But yeah, this was still, oh, I didn't love it. It was still a shade that I'd used just to use. It wasn't like, oh wow, I'm, I'm using the shade. I love this shade. It was still like, oh, I gotta get some use out of it. Guess I'll use it. <laughs> it, was, it just wasn't, it didn't bring much joy, uh, which is the nature of the beast of pan those eyeshadows sometimes, but I'm very proud of myself for hitting pan in it. And yeah, I was very happy to move on. Next, we have Cypress Umber from my Soft Glam palette. So this is what this shade looks like. We have hit pan in it. So the reason this is so low is because I was working on an identical shade in my pan that palette. So splitting love between this and my pan that palette shade wasn't great. Probably in hindsight, I would have rolled it out and re-rolled, um, but I, I, I kept it in. I used it. Uh, I used it in my eyebrows, I'm pretty sure. You probably already know, ABH shades are very, very easy to hit pan on, especially when you're using a very dense or precise brush. So this didn't take too long to hit pan on, which I am glad it didn't take too much time away from my pan that palette. But yeah, it's just a brown. There's nothing too special about it. It's just a neutral brown. It was nice to use. If I wasn't using an exact shade in both my Pan That Palette and my Rolling Project Pan, I probably would have enjoyed it a little bit more. But because there was just so much of the same shade going on, I got a little overwhelmed. So yeah, I didn't really enjoy working on that one too much. Next comes from my Modern Renaissance Palette. Now I rolled this palette in um, twice. These were two of my hand chosen shades. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Burnt Orange, which is this shade here. And as you can see, we did hit pan. Hopefully you can see that anyway. This again, it was fine. It was a neutral. This is what it looks like. It's a very warm tone neutral, which was a nice contrast to my Pan That Palette, which is very, very cool toned. I'm actually wearing a shade in my Pan That Palette today just to blend out my greens. But yeah, I use this very similarly actually. I could blend out a lot of greens with this shade as well, even though it is more warm toned. I enjoyed playing with it. I enjoyed the quality. To be honest, I rolled this palette into my Pan Those Eyeshadow series just to get to know the quality because this will be my Pan That Palette next year. So I wanted to A, get some use on it, B, make sure it's not too expired, and C, just, I don't know, get a bit more of a starting point with this. <laughs> but yeah, it was fine. It was just a neutral. It was neither here nor there. Again, very similarly, next is Sienna from my Soft Glam. These two shades, and to be honest, the next shade that I'm gonna talk about as well, these are interchangeable, like, they're very, very similar. Um, the same thing, I'm not gonna go over all the points that I've just made, because the same goes for this. And then the same goes for Raw Sienna as well, which is this shade here. This is a very rusty pan, so I'm not sure if you're even gonna be able to see the pan. But we did manage to hit pan in this as well. All three of these shades, they were fine, they were nice, there was nothing wrong with them, but it's just that, you know, they're all very similar. Neutrals, I was already working on neutrals, and yeah, neither here nor there for all three of them. Okay, let's talk about something that isn't an orangey brown. Next is Potion from my Book of Magic palette. Now, this is what this looks like. You can see, hopefully, we hit a very, very small pan in the very, very corner, which is very unusual for me. Normally my pans are in the middle, but I don't know. This, you would think, would be a lot higher. As I said, I love blue eyeshadow, but this, I noticed, creased on me so badly. This is what it looks like swatched out. 
it's nice. It is a little too dark for me for a shimmer. I do like very, very light shimmers. Uh, I'm wearing, to be honest, I am wearing quite a neutral shimmer today, but I don't know, it was a little too dark for a shimmer. I rolled this in in like the dead of summer. I used this more as like an accent because as I said, on my lids, it did crease on me. It was a nice pop of color. I used it kind of as I'm wearing my blue today, just as a pop of color. It, it didn't wow me. I was really excited to roll this in. As I said, blue, love. But yeah, it, it turned into a bit of a, oh, I don't really wanna use this because it's gonna crease like hell. So that was sad. Next is a very, very recent roll-in. I am pre-filming this, I should say. I am pre-filming this quite a lot. This is the 2nd of December that I am filming this, so I am nowhere near posting my Pamela's eyeshadows update. I'm nowhere near even filming that update, so this may look very different because it is currently in my rotation, and that goes to any shades that are currently in my rotation as well, so just keep that in mind. But this is the Outlands. This is from my Lion King Circle of Life palette, and I we're getting into shades that, like, I quite like. They're okay, yeah. This is like a gunky yellow, and it's very, very interesting. I do like this shade. It's like a yellow with a tiny bit of green in it to make it a little bit grungier. I do enjoy the shade. However, we are currently in December, so it's quite hard to incorporate a bright yellow matte in to like winter cool tone looks especially when I am focusing so hard on my pan that palette I want to finish that palette and that is a very cool tone palette so I'm gonna like play around with adding this as like a pop with cool tones I think that could be really pretty yeah the quality is fine it's fine nothing wrong with it the color is quite unique um so I'm still playing around with it I'm still finding my feet with this because as I'm filming this, I've only had this in my like project pan drawer for about two weeks. So yeah, I haven't had a chance to play with that too much. Next, I did not think this would rank this high when I first rolled it into my Pan Those Eyeshadow series, but this is Pretty Cruel from my It's My Pleasure palette. It's this shade up here, it looks barely used, but we did roll this out after 20 uses. And I actually really enjoyed this shade. I know I've been saying it doesn't swatch too great, but I know I've been saying I really don't like pink tones, but this was just neutral enough that I could pair it with shades like Cypress Umber, and it made a very subtle pink kind of hint on my eyes, and I actually really enjoyed that. I really, really did. I was dreading this when this first rolled in. Oh my God, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to do like all pink looks. Obviously Colourpop shades are very, very, very firmly pressed. So I knew that I probably wasn't gonna hit pan on this. I was obviously using the shade with very fluffy brushes to like really blend out my crease. But I, I really enjoyed it. I, I think it was really beautiful. You can see now we're getting into shades that I genuinely do love. Um, yeah, and it surprised me. It really did. I was baffled that I enjoyed that shade so much. And I did pair Rose Quartz with this. And just those two on their own made a really pretty look. And I was very surprised with that because I was not expecting to like a pink shade at all. <laughs> Next we have a shade from my Sunset Horizons palette which I actually don't hate. Wow! This is the shade Oasis. It's this shade here. You can see we did hit pan. We hit pan on this after I want to say three uses which like I wasn't that happy with but the shade is stunning. Like I really do enjoy this shade even though I only had to use it three times but whatever. It's such a nice shade. It is my perfect blue shade sh for I do all blue looks all the time so that came in handy for that. I also do blue pops all the time with neutrals, with greens, with oranges, with reds, with pinks, with like anything. I just do a blue pop all the time and I love it. I think it looks amazing. So I really enjoyed playing with that shade. It's got almost like a, a tiny bit of a yellow 
shiftiness to it, which is nice as well. But um, yeah, overall, I just, this palette is like, well, it was decluttered for a reason. Let's say that. Next, we have my most recent pan as of filming this anyway. This is Conspiracy, and this is actually the first time that I'm showing this on camera with a pan in it. So that's really weird. But you would have seen my Pan Those Eyeshadows update already. This is Conspiracy. This is Next. I, I, I liked this. This is why it ranks, you know, pretty high. I did get a little bit burnt out with it, I must say. But the shade itself is very interesting. It's very different. It's like a muted, it's a very muted green. And I did enjoy playing with this, to be fair. I'm happy it's got a pan in it. It went very well with my rotation, which is amazing. And yeah, it's not too in your face. I did layer it with like other kind of greens, which was nice. I do have another green in my Pan Those Eyeshadow series right now. Well, maybe I don't by the time you're watching this because I am quite close to pan, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But this, yeah, it was, it. I enjoyed working with it and I haven't really worked with shades like this before. So it was really nice to kind of widen my horizons and yeah, I did enjoy this. Next, we have a shade again from a palette that has been decluttered. This is my Violet Boss Nicole Concilio palette. And this was the shade Palm Tree, which is here. You can see this is a beautiful green to brown duochrome. This is stunning. This was in at the same time as like one of these like neutrally shades. So I paired it a lot with that and it went really nicely even for just like casual uni looks. So beautiful. I really did enjoy this shade. It is beautiful. I am actually planning to depot this shade and Boop Boop because they are just two very unique, beautiful shades that I don't think I can get rid of yet. I'm not, I'm not there yet. I can't let them go yet. So yeah, I, I just love the shade. It's so beautiful. Next is that green shade that we were talking about. This is Charmed from Colourpop. You can see a huge pan in this. As of right now, I have not hit pan. I am wearing it in my eye look today. This does not swatch very well, so there you go. That's all you're getting. It's a very deep army green, and I re I've fallen in love with these this year. I am a tiny bit burnt out with it because we have been working on it for a while. <laughs> we worked on it for a little bit last year as well, so we've we've had a lot of work on this. This has definitely seen its love. <laughs> this year. I'm really hoping we can hit pan on it by the time I film my update. If you're seeing this now, you already know. But um, yeah, we are so close. There is a massive dip in this and it goes really nicely with greens, with blues, with neutrals. It is quite versatile and obviously it went with conspiracy as well, which I have already spoken about. The next shade is also from the Just My Look palette. This is the shade Mary Jane. I love this. This is so unique. This is like a neon greeny yellow shimmer. I use this as an inner corner pop quite a lot and I loved it as that. It is stunning. It is incredible. I love it. I actually miss using this. I need to reach for it more. This is one of those shades that like, oh, this really has my heart. I really do enjoy this shade. It's so unique. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. And just even pairing these two together, so beautiful. It, it's just, it, oh, it gives something so different to a look and so interesting and so eye-catching. Like I genuinely, Oh, I could marry that shade. It is so beautiful. We have a shade again, which is in my rotation right now. Maybe when you're seeing this, it looks very different, but this is the shade 25 from my Bella Pierre All Stars palette. This is stunning. This is a blue to purple to orange kind of duochrome. This is very much a topper shade. You can see it on my arm there. It is so shimmery so sparkly. I use this with my Pan That palette all the time, just as a nice topper. It is 
Oh, it's so gorgeous. Well, this is in my top three for a reason. We're in the top three now. I think it's beautiful and it's so like chunky, but in a good way. It brings so much life to your eyelids. It's so sparkly, so like just dimensional. Oh, this was a chosen shade. I did choose to roll this in. So I'm so glad that I did because I just love it. I think it's so gorgeous. Next is another chosen shade. This is from my Blue Moon and this is the shade Clued In, which we actually managed to hit pan in. This was a little bit of a gimme shade because I knew we were so close to hitting pan in this and I just, you know, needed a little bit of a push. Again, blues are my happy colour. I adore blues so much and this allowed me to just play around with my favourite colour. I only had to use this, I think, four times to hit pan on it. I'm, I'm just, I love this shade so much. It's so beautiful. And I actually got a live pan. I caught this on camera. I'm so happy. It was, oh, it was just such a nice shade. And that brings us to number one, which is from the start of the year, actually. This is my Zulu palette. And it was this blue here. This blue I used this, I think it was 14 times, and I had it in for one month. So I used it 14 times in one month, which says a lot. <clears throat> I don't use one shade that often, ever. But I, yeah, 14 times in one month. This shade, I love it. Again, blue has my heart, was an inner corner, was a blue all over look. I paired it with this tealy green. I, oh, it was just, I can't even say words. I enjoyed this shade so much. So that is all of my Pamela's eyeshadow shades that I was working on this year, guys, ranked. What do you think? What would you change? What was your favorite shade that you were working on this year? I would love to know. I'm gonna love you and leave you because my camera battery is screaming at me. I hope you had an incredible day. Like and subscribe because I am doing vlogmas. I'm uploading every single day. Have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.